It's not the spinning stools and the gooseneck soda spouts from the old-fashioned fountain that will catch your eye at Falls Drug. It's the regulars, gathered around the marble countertop getting their fix of soup and sandwiches. This is a typical lunchtime image for the fountain inside the hardware drugstore. What do people usually order? Um, kids on the day of the week for our specials, like today's Taco Tuesday, so tacos are a popular thing. Um, my go-to sandwich, if I can't decide, is a French dip. When newcomers stop into St. Anthony, they may be perplexed at the unusual number of businesses inside one location. I've had uh, tourists come in and say, if I don't have it, they don't need it. So we have a little bit of everything. Jim Hunter owns Falls Drug and says it's a general merchandise all-inclusive store. Hunter's owned the business for some 40 years, but says the shop is just shy of 100 years old. The building has a similar layout like old soda fountain drug shops from over 100 years ago. From the beginning, that's what pharmacy was. You had a, you had a soda fountain, you had a pharmacy. Like many businesses in St. Anthony, Falls Drug is located on Bridge Street. Visitors coming off of U.S. Highway 20 will soon see that Main Street really isn't the Main Street for activity. It's actually Bridge Street, and the seasoned locals speak of a time when this was the happening spot. There were two, three grocery stores, and it was, it was just different. In the late 60s and early 70s, locals recalled the town having men's and women's shops along with department stores. St. Anthony at the time was booming with business. The businesses that are gone, oh, it's amazing. There were all kinds of stores on Bridge Street. You could get almost everything you needed right here in town. You didn't need to go south. And now everybody just heads south. As time has gone on, economic growth has tapered, and some empty buildings on Bridge Street now stand as a shadow of what once was. For instance, the Rue Inn, which started out as a hotel decades ago, but is now used as a backdrop or canvas for talented artists. It's also used as an Airbnb. The Silver Horseshoe stands as another beloved spot that closed about 10 years ago. It was a bar said to have some of the most delectable steaks in the Upper Valley, accompanied by music and dancing. It was a big part of downtown. It was, it was the part of town that kept the town alive after 6.30. But lost business activity doesn't equate to no business activity. The town recently had its Maverick gas station remodeled and is preparing to open up a new Arctic Circle, the town's first ever fast food restaurant. Not to mention Dusty's Pit Stop, a place where locals gather on their way to work for a jump start on their day. It's just a calm, friendly environment. People like to come hang out and visit. And buy lottery, scratch lottery tickets. Then there are other hot spot restaurants in town like Chrissy's Chicken or Big J's. In the way of entertainment, the Roxy Movie Theater built in 1935 placed flicks in its refurbished vintage environment. I remember going there when I was a little girl and of course it's changed hands, it's Things inside have changed and stuff, but it's still fun to go to the Roxy. Another aspect that draws attention to the St. Anthony area, especially during the warm months of the year, is the overflow of outdoor activities. The town sits right on the Henry's Fork of the Snake River. Henry's Fork itself is known throughout the United States for its trout streams and is one of the best fly fishing destinations in the country. East of the city's Kiefer Park is the Sandbar, a popular swimming area where locals and university students go to take a dip. Sand is not native to the swimming spot and is hauled in from the St. Anthony sand dunes just east of town. With the sand dune, sandbar, and Henry's Fork all in one spot, locals and visitors spend summer days fishing, playing on ATVs and UTVs, camping, swimming, and photographing the scenic area. When I was growing up, the kind of slogan motto was a uh, gateway to recreation and I mean, some of the best fishing probably in the United States is right here in the middle of town. When in St. Anthony on Memorial Day, take part in the tradition of the town that's almost 65 years old, the Fisherman's Breakfast. The event has kicked off the fishing season since 1955 and now feeds thousands of fishermen on their way to Island Park. Whether you're going to take a dip at the sandbar or wanting a French dip from the fountain at Falls Drug, the city of St. Anthony is happy to have you. In St. Anthony, I'm Natalia Hepworth, and we are East Idaho.